welcome you to this year's Virginia Space Coast Scholars Program. You started out as a pool of over 400 students from across the state. We have persevered and have created an exciting program for you involving aircraft, Saturn rockets, scientific balloons, and small spacecraft. Prior to starting the academy, the thing I was looking forward to the most was learning more about NASA because I've learned some things through like websites and like reading online, but I really wanted to go on some of the virtual tours, kind of learn some things from NASA interns, like their experiences, as well as the master teachers and people that work at Walt Flight Facility. Um, that's where we build up all of our solid rocket motors. Um, we also store them in W65. I also like working with the subject experts because um, they're really interesting and their careers kind of lined up a lot with what I want to do, so I learned a lot from them. Uh, this is all being controlled by the autopilot. The NASA officials, like, they were always there to help us, and I really learned a lot from them. And I learned about, like, more mission design and my specific element that I've contributed to the group from them, so. So, as a project manager, I have helped with the mission statements. I have oversaw most of the assignments. So that's why we arranged it like that. It gets the more nutrients. So. Next slide, please. I think being able to even virtually to be able to spend time with my teammates and being able to work together and to something was a very nice part experience. Equipment and platform of Sector M. Sector M will carry several pieces of equipment and instrumentation. I'm also a public relations specialist. Um, today I worked on the logo, mission name, and strategy. Just overall learning more about how to create a mission, everything that goes into it, each role each person has on a team, and really as we all come together to make our mission work, to present it, I'm learning some things to put in your PowerPoint to really attract attention of the viewer. The county in Texas with the most amount of thunderstorms and we are trying to get out of the state. Virtually, it's kind of tough because People may think we know what we're talking about, but we're all in our houses alone separately, so we don't really know. So we have to be really, really, really sure we're all talking about the same thing and we all understand the whole thing. And also when we're working, it was really cool because we all just got to talk and everyone just hit, had input and that helped a lot. I think the biggest thing I gained this week is working with other people in a really different environment. Normally I'm used to like school where we're all together and we're all collaborating on the same piece of paper, but working online was a little bit of a challenge, especially because we're so far away. Honestly, I think our biggest challenge so far has been specifying all the elements to our mission and answering the questions of the people who are reviewing our presentations. You're actually coming up with it like together as a team so you can collaborate and gather more ideas um, but yeah I'd say I was more interested in actually coming up with a NASA mission that I could actually apply to the real world that I got like professional help with. Just and me and Amisha have been working on uh, researching our bacteria We've learned about how it grows in water. My favorite part of this week was probably listen, listening to the other team's presentations because I actually learned a lot and I learned a lot about their missions and like what they were doing and some of them seemed like really cool and really interesting to learn about. We didn't just get to see wallops. Some of the stuff we got to see was from different facilities all around the U.S. and even all around the world sometimes, I'm pretty sure. Three, two, one. NG-13 missions with Wallops flight facility. Engine back 100%. We tried to keep us uh, engaged at all times and we take breaks and play games. What drives all NASA missions? <laughs> all right, a little bit of a change there. All right. It is a really great opportunity to learn more about what you love, whether that be NASA or specific platforms. And I've really had fun, I really had a fun time like making everything that I want to do in the future and apply my like 
goals for the future.